it's a bit easier now I'm all the way through and I can go the full length of the file and it shouldn't take too long to get it shaped out now I've filed the eye out to the size that I want but now I need to put a taper on it It's starting to look a little bit like a hammerhead now and I've finished filing the eye out and I'll just show you the dimensions. I've tapered it in both directions so this is the underneath of the hammer and we've got that there it's just over 17 mil and then on the other side which is the top of the hammer there's a bit of clearance there that's just about what it is 19 mil and like I say I've done it in the opposite direction as well so that's 19.2 at uh, 9.2 sorry and as you can see there's a bit of clearance there so that's 10.5 all that's left to do is round the corners off and polish it up but there is one more thing to do and that is on the one end I'm putting uh, a wooden insert in there so I need to drill a hole in the end and I'll do that next <laughs> I've sanded it to 240 grit, it's nice and shiny and I could take it further but because of the humidity here things rust very fast so I would have to wax or oil it pretty often so instead I'm going to try and put a black patina on it. I just tried the dowel to see how it fitted in the hole and it actually fits too good because I cannot get it back out not without breaking it so I suppose that's a good thing because I was planning on epoxying that in but it doesn't look like I need to so all I need to do now is put the ring on there glue that on and if it ever does come back out then I can epoxy it in there I mentioned earlier that the hammerhead has a tapered eye and I thought I'd better explain that before I make the handle in case anybody doesn't understand. I'm sure most of you do. But I've just done this quick diagram and this black shaded area here is a cross section of the hammerhead. So imagine we've cut through there so we can see the handle and the eye at the top of the hammerhead is wider than what it is at the bottom. So when we put the handle through and before we put the handle through we make a cut down the center of the, the handle there and we'll put it through and then we drive a wedge into that cut and it pulls the handle apart and fills that void of the eye and because of the shape of it there's no way it can come back out. I've adjusted the handle so it almost goes into the underside of the hammerhead. It's probably about a millimeter too big in each direction. And now I'm going to start shaping the rest of the handle. The hammerhead still doesn't fit onto the uh, handle so what I'm going to do is compress 
the end of the handle. The compressed fibers in the end of the handle will take on moisture from the humidity or you could even put a damp rag on there as well and those fibers will swell up even more and make an even tighter fit within that eye. I put a wedge in both directions and the metal wedge was just a piece of mild steel that I shaped. I'll set a plane and show you uh, how it works. So we've got the wooden striking face and we've got a metal striking face so we use the wooden one on the back of the plane and that uh, releases and retracts the, the blade. There we go. So I'll set the uh, plane as well and show you how to do that because I probably should have done that in my last video. My last video was making this plane but anyway put your plane on a flat surface. You could put it on your bench top. I've got a piece of flat hardwood here. Then put your blade in so it's sitting on that surface and push the wedge in, give it a little tap. I'm using the wooden end on the wooden wedge. And then put your fingers on either side of the blade. Don't run your fingers across the blade, just hold it on there. And then with the metal striking end, we can hit the blade and just little taps until it feels like it's in about the right place. And then drive the wedge in a little bit more and give it a go. That's working, but it's a little bit coarse, so if I hold it a bit more firmly. I've retracted that a little bit. Try that. There we go, that's much better. And I'll just put that wedge in a bit more. It was a simple video, really not much to it, but hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.